Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's me, uh, Sicilian Prince here, and what I am going to be doing now is I'm going to be doing the second part of my Echinacea tincture. Now, if you haven't seen me making herbal tinctures in the first episode uh, of how to make tinctures, go back and watch the other video because you'll see the beginning of it. Um, so what I have here is my echinacea tincture that has gone for um, about six weeks, shaking it every day and all that. Now, if you looked at the other video, you'll notice that the uh, jar is much bigger. And what happened is that the herbs, as they um, absorbed the vodka, they uh, expanded and... I kept adding more vodka to cover it and it kept expanding so past the size of the jar so what I had to do is transfer it to a bigger jar and sometimes that happens when you um, have different herbs you're not going to know how much the herb is going to expand so I approximated to fill it up to the top but I guess got a little overzealous and putting in a little bit too much herbs that's all right. I transferred it to another jar and put a little bit more um, um, vodka on top until it's completely uh, covered, as you can see here, and uh, we're good to go. So what we're going to need to do now to squeeze this out is I have a jelly bag and I have this leftover Chinese soup container. Um, they just are a lot easier to work with than other jars. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that up with a little bit of water. And the reason I'm doing that is I've had these before have leaks in them. And all your herbs go spilling out through a little tiny pinhole through the bottom. So I'm just making sure I have no leaks dump out the water and I'm going to take my bag and put it in in the uh, container I'm doing my Try to squeeze out as much as I possibly can. Now, what I'm going to do is take this jar and rinse it out. Okay, so you're going to have some herbs go all over the place, but now I have a clean jar. And a clean lid. That's my lid. Now, what I'm going to take next is my jelly bag, and I am going to squeeze the heck out of it. And what I'm trying to do is get as much as I possibly can of the echinacea extract out of the. Now wash your hands really good before you do this too. I just washed them several times. Now they sell presses to do this as well. Um, I'm sure you get a whole lot more out of it. But they cost several hundred dollars. You just keep squeezing like that and you'll get a bunch of you know extract out of it it might take a little while take a little bit of hand strength through some of the things I do um, playing guitar and uh, martial arts and stuff I have pretty strong hands so, 
with some of that training I am fortunate enough to have pretty strong hands but if you don't you might want to get somebody to help you here I still don't think it's worth you know six seven eight hundred dollars for a uh, a press or even 400 unless you're going to open up a company making extracts possibly then all right so what's left in here the uh, pulp of the herbs um, it'd be good to uh, compost that you could throw that on your compost pile and uh, return it to the earth for uh, you know nutrients in your future crops that you have now, if you decide to grow echinacea the purple cone flowers you have to realize that the roots you um, need to wait three years or so for the roots to develop before they have the medicinal qualities that you're looking for in an echinacea. Okay. That is my echinacea tincture. I'm going to pour that back in here. And that is my echinacea tincture. Now you can imagine how many of these little bottles you could fill up with this. You know, and this is a bigger size one. Usually they come in smaller sizes than that. Usually, what are we looking at? At the store, you look at something like that. Tiny bottle, one ounce bottle over here at this point I have almost a pint of that so you can see that that's um, 16 ounces roughly or probably closer to 15 ounces so it's like 15 of those jars um, that you would buy at like a health food place now you might also notice that it's kind of brown, the liquid. Um, you can get that to be more clear if you run this through a coffee filter. Um, I prefer it not to be clear. I prefer it to have some of the actual plant uh, matter in it, just like that, um, than for it to be completely clear. I think it does a better job. Than what you could buy in the store all right so here we have a whole ton of echinacea tincture we could use this for that um for the uh mouthwash recipe for um for tooth and gum health um that recipe you can uh, see on one of my prior videos i'll put a link to it on the bottom but also um you can use this with your um, health enhancement regimen <laughs> um, according to legend that this could help you build your immune system especially before the holiday season uh, might be a good idea then to take echinacea all right so i hope and all in all that this was helpful for you and that you learn something here and you can see how easy it is to do stuff like this on your own echinacea tincture can help you in a lot of ways um just do your own reading on it and see if it works for you see if it makes sense for you it is according to folklore a immune boosting uh herb okay so you know you also want to consider if you had an autoimmune disease um like um 
I don't know, arthritis or something like that, you might not want to take echinacea because it might um, exacerbate that. So there might be other things you could do um, other than that. So again, you know, if you are looking at the folklore and, and educational purposes of this video, and of course, you know, not um, taking anything I'm saying here as medical advice or anything because, you know, uh, only a doctor can can do that, can give you medical advice. This is just for like education on folklore, on um, herbs. Uh, this echinacea is something that's been used in the uh, Native American peoples of uh, of the country have have used this over time to to do all kind of healing and all that. So. Um, I know the Food and Drug Administration doesn't necessarily uh, agree with that because obviously people are smarter now, but or at least we think we are. But um, I uh, tend to, for myself, prefer the old ways. So again, do your own research, ask your doctor. Uh, but if you do your own research and ask your doctor, I want to learn how to make this. Echinacea tincture, go for it. It's easy, easy, easy. Anybody could do this kind of thing. And please do it and let me know how you make out. All right. Echinacea tincture, good for you. Anyway, take care. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism, and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.